interview is part of the investigation of sexual assault claims against Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. In addition to Mark Judge, the FBI has interviewed Deborah Ramirez, who says Kavanaugh exposed himself to her at a party while they were both studying at Yale. One of Kavanaugh's former classmates at Yale has also come forward. He says that Kavanaugh was a heavy drinker in college. Yeah, the FBI also plans to interview Blasey Ford's friend Leland Kaiser, who was in the House when Ford was assaulted. Senate Judiciary Com Committee members, led by Republican Jeff Flake of Arizona, voted to begin the FBI investigation. Committee member Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, however, took a different view on the investigation and its purpose. You sowed the wind. For decades to come, I fear that the whole country will reap the whirlwind. And joining us now to discuss the investigation is Talking Points analyst Gabrielle Caracciola. Now, Gabrielle, how is this impacting both of the parties? Right, so you have Republicans like Senator Lindsey Graham saying that the timing of these allegations coming forward, Dianne Feinstein's handling of the documents was all very kind of shady, they're alleging, and they're saying that it all has to do with an ulterior motive and what they would like to see happen in the elections in 2018 and eventually in 2020. And then on the other side of things, you have Democrats saying, no, there are no ulterior motives here. We just want to get to the bottom of what happened and see whether or not Brett Kavanaugh deserves to be on the Supreme Court. Now, earlier today, there was a very long press conference in the White House Rose Garden. So what has the White House been saying about the investigation so far? Right. The, over the weekend, there was some question as to whether or not the White House was kind of telling the FBI what they were and weren't allowed to do during this investigation. And Trump put that to rest today. He said that the FBI can interview whoever they want, including Kavanaugh, and that they have full reign. He's hands off, but they do only have a week to conduct their interviews and this investigation. And Gabrielle, when it comes to swing votes in this upcoming Senate vote, they're going to be crucial. Do we have any idea of where they stand? Right. So we have three crucial swing votes at the moment. Senator Jeff Flake is a really interesting one because he was cr a big part of this investigation taking place on Friday. He's not running for re-election, so he has more leeway to just vote his conscience and not worry about what people are going to feel about his vote come November. It's unclear at this point where he stands. He kind of is waiting for the investigation to take place. And then you have Suzanne Collins and Lisa Murkowski who are staying very tight-lipped as to where they're going to vote, again, waiting for the um, what the FBI says. And Gabrielle, what can you tell us about the people the FBI has already interviewed? Yeah, so today they interviewed Mark Judge, and he is the person that Christine Blasey Ford says was in the room with Brett Kavanaugh um, during that alleged attack back in high school. That's going to be a really crucial interview for the FBI because if he can't help co corroborate any of those allegations, he's a real big point in that story. Right. Gabrielle, thank you for continuously covering this for